This video is sponsored by bootcamp.com. Check it out for INBDE prep and use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Ryan here and welcome back to the channel. I hope to make several videos on specific test taking strategies, tips and tricks that I've developed over the years that can help you on test day get through a difficult question, boost your confidence, and just give you some more tools in your toolbox to help you out. So in this video, I wanna go over what might seem like an unorthodox topic, when to guess. And the truth is, as much as you study, as much as you prepare for the board exam, there are going to be questions that come up that you just have no idea on. There'll be things that you've just never heard of before, you haven't studied, and I don't say that to alarm you or to worry you, but just to let you know that that's okay, that that will happen, that happens to the best of us, and I don't want that to throw you off your game. So when that happens, I want you to be prepared and feel confident about how to approach those types of questions. So the answer to when to guess is when you need to, because there's no downside to guessing. You want to answer every single question and never leave one blank, because on the Integrated National Board Dental Exam, an incorrect answer will never count against your score any more than leaving it blank would. So always put something down for each question. If you're not sure, don't leave it blank, just put something down. This might sound silly, but by not attempting a question, you have a 0% chance of getting it right. Like Wayne Gretzky's famous quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So let's do some math real quick. By leaving a question blank, you have 0% chance of getting it right. By blindly picking from four options, you have a 25% chance of getting it right. So already your chances have improved dramatically. If you're able to eliminate one option of those four, you now have a 33% chance of getting it right. And if you can eliminate two options, then you have a 50% shot of getting it right. So remember to implement the process of elimination and attempt all of the questions before you click that final submit button. Now hopefully you can eliminate some answer choices based on the content that you've studied and learned, but this video is all about guessing. So if you recognize that you're completely lost and are totally shooting in the dark on a question, what strategies could you implement then? Well, the first thing I would do is kind of what I talked about at the beginning of the video, recognize that you don't know the answer and accept that that's okay. You shouldn't expect to know 100% of the questions anyway. There's room for a lot of grace in the scoring. And so instead of freaking out, worrying about it and just skipping it completely and not answering anything, mark that question and immediately move on. Don't waste any more time mulling it over. And after you've gone through the entire section of questions that you're on, then you would go back to review your marked questions. And there's a small chance that maybe a question that popped up later or an answer choice that you saw after marking that question jogged your memory or gave you some missing information to at least eliminate one of the answer choices for that marked question and increase your chance of getting it right. If not, then and only then would I apply these weaker strategies in the art of guessing? So the first thing that I came up with is to eliminate total outliers. So if an answer choice just has nothing to do with the other ones or just stands out as irrelevant or strange, you can try to eliminate that one as it tends to be more often incorrect than correct. You can also eliminate answers with absolute words like always and never because very rarely is something always or never true. An exception to that rule is all of the above or none of the above answer options. Questions that include these as one of the options tend to have them as the correct option more often than one of the other responses, usually from A to C. So again, if you're completely in the dark on a certain question, go with that and you'll have some improvement over just randomly guessing. And lastly, the longest answer and or the answer choice with the most detail included in it on multiple choice exams tends to be correct more often. So all of that being said, you wanna of course study hard, eliminate answers where you can, 
And when you have absolutely no idea on some questions after finishing an entire section, give it a good guess and double check that every single question has an answer before you click that submit button to give you the best chance of success. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel for much more on dentistry. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page. And thank you to all of my patrons for their support. You can unlock access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions for the board exams. So go check that out, the link is in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.